Hi, I'm Juliet Leger, and this is our video on fast beam alignment in millimeter wave systems. Millimeter wave systems use beam forming where a signal is phase shifted and sent over multiple antennas to maximize the received power. Finding the best beam, however, is a big challenge in these systems. Our video is on fast beam alignment solutions which address this challenge. Consider a wireless system with a planar antenna array at the transmitter and a single antenna receiver. The matrix F here models the phase shifts used at the transmitter and H denotes the channel matrix. The goal of beam alignment is to find a phase shift matrix F which maximizes the received power. A common beam alignment method is 2D DFT based exhaustive search. In this method, the transmitter applies elements of the 2D DFT codebook in sequence and the receiver obtains entries of the beam space matrix X. Then the codebook element, which results in the strongest entry of X, is used for beam alignment. Unfortunately, exhaustive search in millimeter wave systems results in a substantial training duration as the codebook has a large number of elements. To address this problem, it is important to develop methods which can estimate the best beam without scanning through the beam space. Hi, I'm Kayla Tran and I'm going to discuss a smart way to quickly estimate the best beam. Millimeter wave channels exhibit a special property called sparsity. For example, most of the entries in the beam space shown here are zero. Interestingly, such sparse matrices can be recovered from fewer samples of their inverse Fourier transform. To validate this idea, let's take a look at the inverse Fourier transform of the beam space, which is the channel matrix H. Consider a random subsampling technique that acquires just four entries in H. A coarse beam space estimate is simply the Fourier transform of the subsample channel. An interesting observation is that the beam space estimate and the original beam space achieve their maximum at the exact same coordinate. This coordinate corresponds to the best beam. Now, can the receiver acquire subsamples of the channel? Yes. It is possible when the transmitter sequentially turns on the antennas corresponding to the subsampling coordinates. With this method, the best beam is estimated from just four transmissions. As a result, beam alignment using the Fourier transform of the subsample channel results in lower training overhead than exhaustive search. Now, I'm going to explain how switching can be interpreted as circulant sensing. In the random switching example, the antenna weights used by the transmitter are Dirac matrices. These sensing matrices have a special structure, i.e. any Dirac matrix is a 2D circulant shift of the matrix D. For example, the second matrix is obtained by circulantly shifting every column of D by one unit and every row of the result by two units. The use of such antenna weights allows fast beam alignment in millimeter wave systems. A generalization of switching is a technique where the transmitter applies circulant shifts of a perfect binary array. In this method, the receiver constructs a matrix G that has the channel measurements at the circulant shift location. Then, the coordinate where the 2D DFT of G achieves its maximum gives an estimate of the best beam index. A summary of this procedure is shown here. Circulant sensing based beam alignment succeeds due to the fact that perfect arrays have a constant magnitude 2D DFT similar to direct matrices. I'm Frida Maldonado, and I'll demonstrate the performance of beam alignment solutions discussed in this video. We consider a large 32 by 32 antenna array of transmitters and use line of sight channels from the NYU simulator. An important observation is that practical beam space matrices are not exactly sparse. So the question is if our algorithm still works for such channels. Let's check it out. As shown in this plot, the overhead with random antenna switching is about 7% of that with exhaustive search. Furthermore, circulant sensing with a perfect array requires just 3% of the overhead with beam search. The perfect array-based solution achieves better performance because it activates all the antennas for the channel measurements, unlike with switching which turns on a single antenna. I'm now going to walk you through a summary of our video. In this video, we discussed why exhaustive beam search results in a huge training overhead at millimeter wave. We also explained fast beam alignment solutions based on random antenna switching and circulant sensing with perfect binary arrays. Thank you for watching and please vote for our video.